video, we'll introduce matchings in bipartite graphs, and in the next video, we'll discuss Hall's marriage theorem. Hey everyone, real quick, I just want to mention that this video is a part of a whole course that I made. You can find a link to this entire course in the description below and make sure to click on that subscribe button. Suppose you have a bipartite graph G. This will consist of two sets of vertices, A and B, with some edges connecting some vertices of A to some vertices of B. But of course, no edges between two vertices, both in A or both in B. And let me draw what that looks like. So we have two groups here of vertices, A and B, and they have some vertices here and vertices here, but inside A and inside B, there are no edges. All edges are crossing. A matching of A is a subset of the edges for which each vertex of A belongs to exactly one edge of the subset, and no vertex in B belongs to more than one edge in the subset. In practice, we assume that the size of A equals the size of B. The two sets have the same number of vertices in this case. That's what that means. So this says that every vertex in the graph belongs to exactly one edge in the matching. Some context might make this easier to understand. Think of the vertices in A as representing students in a class and the vertices in B representing presentation topics. So these are students, and these are topics. We put an edge from a vertex A to a vertex B. So here's A, here's B, let's say. If student A would like to present on topic B. So student A wants to present on topic B. Of course, some students would want to present on more than one topic. Maybe A wants this topic as well, or that topic, and maybe this um, student wants that topic and that topic. So their vertex would have a degree greater than one. As the teacher, you want to assign each student their own unique topic. Thus, you want to find a matching of A. You pick some subset of the edges here, some of these edges, so that each student gets matched up with exactly one topic, and no topic gets matched on two students. The question is, when does a bipartite graph contain a matching of A? When can we successfully give students topics that they want, um, given that they have a list of topics that they want to present on? To begin to answer this question, consider what could prevent the graph from containing a matching. So this will not necessarily tell us a condition when the graph does have a matching, but at least it is a start. One way G could not have a matching is if there's a vertex in A not adjacent to any vertex in B. So maybe you have a loner vertex over here, a student who picked no topics, so having to degree zero. That would mess up everything because then we can't give students um, the topics that um, we can't give every student the topic that they wanted because there's a student there that didn't pick any topics, so we can't give him what he wants. What if two students both like the same one topic and no others? Say you have two students and one topic here, and they both only pick that one topic. Then after assigning that one topic to the first student, there's nothing left for the second student to like, to like in this case. So it is very much as if the second student has degree zero. Or what if three students like only two topics between them? So maybe we have three students and they each like these two topics. And let me, to make this a little bit less convoluted, Let's say we had three students, and they all like two topics. Well, this is gonna cause a problem. Again, after assigning one student a topic, we reduce this down to a previous case of two students liking only one topic. We can continue this way, uh, this way with more and more students. 
It should be clear at this point that if there is every group of N students who as a group like N, um, who has a group like N minus one or fewer topics, then no matching is possible. So again, if you have a, a group of N students that all like N minus one topics, then that would be a problem. So then no uh, matching is possible. This is true for any value of n and any group of n students. To make this more graph theoretic, say you have a set, and let me um, bring back my a and b here. Let's try that again. We can do this, here we go. There's a and there's b. Let's say we have some subset S here in A. It's a subset of the vertices in A, and we define N of S to be the set of all the neighbors of the vertices in S. So all the edges coming out of S are going into N of S. So you're not going to see any edges out of S go into outside the neighborhood of S. So that's not a possible edge. All the edges are going between these two between uh, from S. So that is N of S contains all the vertices in B, which are adjacent to at least one of the vertices in S. In the student topic graph, N S is the set of topics liked by the students of S. Our discussion can be summarized as follows. And this is the big important conclusion that we've discussed in this lecture. We have seen that if a bipartite graph G, which is can be split up into two portions A and B, has a matching of A, then we know the neighborhood of any set, uh, subset S from A has to be at least as large as the subset of S. And so again, that means that if you pick any group of students and look at all of the topics that those students picked, though there better be more topics than students, or at least as many topics as there are students. If there are less um, topics than there are students, then there's gonna be a student, at least one student, who doesn't get one of their topics picked. And so that's what this um, result suggests or says. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.